start with this dog guys right yeah. but when I hit them I'm not hitting them I'm hitting the harness see so it makes the same kind of like it's a bit shocking it's a bit scary for the leash yeah. oh. but nice grips walk up the line hold him Good. left side right side uh, left side okay and he's a more of a harder dog to get that teeth and the anger out of him because he's very prey motivated. You can see not a lot of suspicion. He did the right thing, but it, it was a bit slower. This is the first time, by the way, we've done a sketchy kind of scenario like this with him. Hold the chin, not the neck, and pull him back against your leg. Walk up if you have to, and hold him firmly against your leg. Okay. You hold this. You hold it. Yeah. Yeah. And these kinds of dogs, you know, Especially we get them from Europe. They have some foundation, but they always think it's a game. I'm not playing, buddy. There's no game here. I don't care if you're a prey dog. Prey is a serious thing. Right? There. I want him to have some problems with me. I don't want to be his buddy and keep that kind of dog, man. He just wants to be your friend. <laughs> yeah. Good. I want him to have some adversity. Oh, hey, there you go. Some adversity with me. Okay, lift him by the harness. And he's not gonna let go, you watch. Lift him. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want him on the outside of your leg, so I can play. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, hey, pull him back. Walk up on him, hold him. Good, Let's talk about why I flanked him. Right? I flanked him to make a little more angry. You saw he came off and he tried to bite me. That's the mentality I want in the dog. Settle him down, don't let him come forward. Now I'm gonna do something a little bit different with him. It's not that I can change that he's a prey dog. Nothing wrong with a prey dog as long as you train them properly. As long as you don't make it about the equipment. The equipment is just helping me to manufacture the emotion in the dog that I want to manufacture. And I'm going to show you guys. Now I'm going to put him on the suit. You're going to see that. For those of you wondering how we transition. Huh? Lift him by the harness. Lift him on the outside so I can flank him if I have to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, hey. Pull him back. Hey, yeah, pull him back. Hey, yeah, pull him back. Natural counters because he's a nice prey dog, right? Ah! And again, I, I'm not so hung up on what he's doing on the grip as long as he's doing something. As long as he's not Woo! sucking. Ah! Ah! Good boy, ah! Good boy. Ah! 
Lift him by the harness now. Put him down. And you can see the transition when the emotion is right. There's no problem. Sleeve, suit, what I he didn't sleeve. Whatever. I'm not your friend. It's all good because the emotion in the dog. <laughs> Lift him by the harness. Keep him up. Keep him up. Good boy, Mac. Put him down. This is where I'm going to let him get a good satisfaction from the grip. So even fluffy, happy Max, he can show some good man strength, some power. Okay, now use your e collar, lift him, and make the out as you're lifting. It doesn't have to be high. Oh, keep him in the harness there. Hold him. Yeah. Ah. 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 Sander. Hi. Oh. Good boy, Max. Ah. Good boy. Ah. Good job, Max. This is this dog's first ever send on the suit. Dush, dush, dush. Ah. Good boy, Max. First ever tricep grip. Dush, dush, dush. Ah. Good man, Max. Dush. Ah. Good boy. First time. But because he's in the right <laughs> emotion, lift him by the harness, but don't lift him. Lift him. Oh. Yay, yay. Put him down. Dush. Oh, lift him again. It's okay uh, if he wants to lose it. Dush. Put him down. Good boy, Max. Good job, Maxi. Dush, dush, dush. This dog could be a police dog. <laughs> Let him go. Dush, dush, dush. Good job, Max. 14 months old. Okay, lift him now. Yeah. Keep him up. Tell him to out. Oh. Out. Pull him back now. Pull him back a little bit. Don't send him. Good, put him up. Good job, Max. Let's go, buddy. Come on, big guy. Come on. Come on. Okay, guys. So, it's not always about being a hot shot. Wearing the super cool bite suit with your logo on the back, even though I am super cool and I have a super cool bite suit. The bite suit's the last thing. First, I make the dog right here. That's my focus. And if I can't make the dog right here, I don't care what I'm using, it just becomes equipment just becomes an aid. I want the dog mentally there. Max's weaknesses, he can sometimes become a little flat. He can sometimes become a little prey locked and go a little empty. We need to make him a little bit more active, okay? And in the initial startup, a little bit lighter on the startup. He's bigger on the finish and less on the startup. Whereas a lot of uh, reactive dogs, they're big on the startup and less on the finish. So you can see there's different sides of the the, the the work that we have to, to fix. So anyways, Max is a prey dog, all right? So if I do tons of reactive stuff with him and no prey work, the dog will go flat because he's not getting satisfaction. His satisfaction is in the prey. So I have to show him the way to the prey is to be active on the man, and the man is the prey. And then you'll have a dog that's at his peak capacity, even if he's a fluffy, cute-looking German Shepherd who is, by the way, for sale. So thanks for watching.